The Marib Dam Arabic, SD ma Arab SADD Marib, or Sud Marib is a dam blocking the Wadi Adana, also Dana or Adana in the valley of Dana in the Balak Hills, Yemen. The current dam is close to the ruins of the Great Dam of Marib, dating from around the 8th century BC. It was one of the engineering wonders of the ancient world and a central part of the Sabaean and Himyarite kingdoms around Marib. There are also other important ancient dams in Yemen such as the Dam of Jufaina, the Dam of Karad, the Dam of Adra'a, the Dam of Migran and the Dam of Yathan. Historically, Yemen has been recognized for the magnificence of its ancient water engineering. From the Red Sea coast to the limits of the Rub Al-Khali Desert are numerous ruins of small and large dams made of earth and stone. Topic. Old Dam The site of the Great Dam of Marib, also called the Dam of Arim Arabic, SD al -Urm Sadd al -Arim, is upstream southwest of the ancient city of Marib, once the capital of the ancient kingdom of Saba Arabic, Saba or possibly Sheba. The kingdom of Saba was a prosperous trading nation, with control of the frankincense and spice routes in Arabia and Abyssinia. The Sabaeans built the dam to capture the periodic monsoon rains which fall on the nearby mountains and so irrigate the land around the city. Recent archaeological findings suggest that simple earth dams and a canal network were constructed as far back as 2000 BC. The Great Dam of Marib dates back to about the 8th century BC and is considered the oldest known dam in the world, being counted as one of the most wonderful feats of engineering in the ancient world. The medieval Arab geographer Yaqat al-Hamawi describes it thus. It is between three mountains, and the flood waters all flow to the one location, and because of that the water only discharges in one direction, and the ancients blocked that place with hard rocks and lead. The water from springs gathers there as well as floodwater, collecting behind the dam like a sea. Whenever they wanted to they could irrigate their crops from it, by just letting out however much water they needed from sluice gates, once they had used enough they would close the gates again as they pleased. The historical dam was severely damaged by a Saudi airstrike in the night of May 31, 2015. Topic. Construction The date of the first construction of the dam at Marib goes back to somewhere between 1750 and 1700 BC. The earliest inscription on the dam is one placed there at the time of its construction or repair of parts of the dam undertaken by Yatha Amar Watari, son of Yada El Zarai, who reigned in 760–740 BC. The following repair was in the time of Yada El Bayan II who reigned in 740–720 BC. Renovations were then carried out by Damar El Zarai and Karab El Bayan who reigned in 700–680 BC. All repairs were minor, consisting of essential maintenance, such as removing dirt, or opening water courses, or stopping up gaps. The Makrib Sama El Yanif II son of Damar El Watar II had his name carved into parts of the dam to mark the completion and repair of the dam. The dam was composed of packed earth, triangular in cross-section, 580 meters in length and 4 meters high. It ran between two groups of rocks on either side of the river and was linked to the rock with substantial stonework. The dam's position allowed for a spillway and sluices between the northern end of the dam and the cliffs to the west. Around 500 BC the dam height was increased to 7 meters, the upstream slope the water face was reinforced with a cover of stones, and irrigation was extended to include the southern side as well as the northern side. After the end of the Kingdom of Saba, the dam fell under the control of the Himyarites in around 115 BC. They undertook further reconstruction, creating a structure 14 meters high with extensive waterworks at both the northern and southern ends, with five spillway channels, two masonry reinforced sluices, a settling pond, and a 1,000 meter canal to a distribution tank. These extensive works were not actually finalized until 325 CE and allowed the irrigation of 25,000 acres. 100 square kilometers. Topic. Maintenance The Muslim historian Al-Isfahani whose annals were completed in 961 CE maintains that the famous breach of the dam occurred some 400 years before the rise of Islam, but Yaqat al-Hamawi assigns it to the time of Abyssinian rule. 
Ancient South Arabian sources report that in about 145 BC, the dam suffered a major breach during the war between the people of Raidan and the Kingdom of Saba, and that is the very breach that many scholars consider to have caused the Sail al Arim Arabic, al -al -arim flood of the Arim mentioned in the Quran. It is also mentioned in Arab proverbs which speak about the hands of Saba having separated at that time. The fighting between the Radonites and the Sabaeans delayed the repair of the dam, and this caused devastating losses of crops and fruit, leading large numbers of people to disperse in search of new land capable of supporting life, so huge migrations ensued. It is still uncertain though whether it was that particular breach that caused the flood of Arim or not, since some migrations certainly took place in the 2nd or 3rd centuries CE, and they are also ascribed to the breaking of the dam of Marib. Generally speaking the dam was repaired twice shortly before the coming of Islam, once by Sharhabul ya Far bin Abi Karab Yas Ad in 450, and by Abraha in 543, and the inscriptions on the dam explain the costs of repair and the large number of workers involved. The archaeology of the Marib Dam shows the effects of siltation behind dams in antiquity, and measures to extend the operational life of the reservoir. The same problems of siltation encountered in the ancient dam was also faced in the construction of the new dam. Despite the increases in height, the dam suffered numerous breaches. Recorded major incidents occurred in 449, 450, 542, and 548, and the maintenance work became increasingly onerous. The last recorded repairs took place in 557. Topic: Final breach. Local tales report that the final breach of the dam had been predicted by a king called Imran, who was also a soothsayer, and later by the wife of the king. According to legend, the breach was caused by large rats gnawing at it with their teeth and scratching it with their nails. In 570 or 575, the dam was again overtopped, and this time left unrepaired. The breaching and destruction of the Dam of Marib was a historical event, and was alluded to in the Quran. Lakad Khan Alisabai Fai Maskanihim Ayatu, Janatani and Yamini Washamali, Kalua Min Rizki Rabikam Washguru Allahu, Baldatu Tayabatu Warabu Gafaru Faradua Farsalna Alayham Sela Alarimi Wabadalnaham Bajanatehim Janatini Dawate Aukuli Kamthi Wathli Washei Min Sidrikli. There was for the tribe of Saba in their dwelling place a sign, two fields of gardens on the right and on the left. They were told, Eat from the provisions of your Lord and be grateful to him. A good land, have you, and a forgiving Lord. But they turned away, refusing, so we sent upon them the flood of the dam, and we replaced their two fields of gardens with gardens of bitter fruit, tamarisks and something of sparse lote trees. The consequent failure of the irrigation system provoked the migration of up to 50,000 people from Yemen to other areas of the Arabian Peninsula, and even to the Levant. Topic. Current dam. A new dam was then built in the 1980s, close to the location of the old one, at the expense of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, the late president of the United Arab Emirates, whose tribe reportedly resettled from Marib to what is now the United Arab Emirates, some time during the 17th century, or in the 6th century, after the collapse of the historical dam. The opening ceremony took place in 1986, in the presence of Sheikh Zayed. The dam was considered by people inside and outside Yemen to have a positive effect on the agriculture and economy of the region of Marib, and the country in general. The new dam is 38 meters 125 feet high, 763 meters 2503 feet long, built of earth across the Wadi Dana at 15 degrees 23 minutes 47 seconds north, 45 degrees 14 minutes 36 seconds east, creating a storage capacity of 398 million cubic meters. The dam site is located 3 kilometers 1.9 miles upstream of the ruins of the Great Dam. The new dam, like the old, was designed to store water for irrigating the Marib plains. However, the wadi bed at the new dam site consists of alluvial sand and gravel material 30 to 50 meters thick. Seepage that emanates from this dam does not threaten its structure, but results in the loss of water. As a way of capturing the seepage, consideration is being given to rebuilding the ancient Marib Dam, both as a functioning structure, and also as a historic monument and tourist attraction. 
The complexity and volume of work involved in this project make it necessary that several organizations work together under the aegis of UNESCO, using financial contributions from international organizations. Newly constructed dams in Yemen, such as Batis Dam and Marib, are used to collect water for the population. A newspaper wrote in July 2010, The water level in the Marib Dam has risen to 45 million cubic meters as a result of the heavy rainfall in various areas of Yemen in the past two days. Under Secretary of Marib Governorate, Ali Muhammad al Fatimid, was briefed Tuesday on the amount of water flowing into the dam and the maintenance of drainage channels and subsystems. The deputy director of the Marib Dam Project, engineer Ahmed Al Arifi, said the water level in the dam on Tuesday rose to 45 million cubic meters, while the water level last April rose to 100 million cubic meters. The gate of the main channel for groundwater was opened in the valley of Ubaida for three months, where the quantity of water flowing amounted to 80 million cubic meters. See also Jawa Dam, Jordan, also an archaeological site. Topic Notes Topic References A study of the Marib Dam and its sluice system, one fifteen BC to five seventy five AD. Link to ancient Marib Dam on Google Maps. Topic. Bibliography M. C. A. MacDonald, Wabar, in, Jack Sasson, M. Ed., Civilization of the Ancient Near East 8, London, 1995, 1351. Alessandro de Maigret. Arabia Felix, translated Rebecca Thompson. London, Stacey International, 2002. ISBN 1 900988 07 0. Andre Korotayev. Ancient Yemen. Oxford, Oxford University Press, 1995. ISBN 0-19-922237-1. Haddon, Robert Lee, 2012. The Geology of Yemen, an Annotated Bibliography of Yemen's Geology, Geography and Earth Science. Alexandria, Virginia, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Army Geospatial Center. <laughs>